This is a quick progress update on the RC Arduino traction control project. What I've got here is one of the chassis I use for racing um, and it's installed with the system. I've got infrared emitters and detectors inside each of the wheels. The insides of the wheels hubs are painted um, in black and white stripes so I can detect as the wheel turns that it transitions from light to dark. Coming out of the wheel sensors I have an analogue signal which is then fed into this comparator on the circuiture. The comparator turns the analogue signal into a clean digital on-off signal that is then fed into the interrupts of the Arduino. It's a breadboard Arduino that I've built here on the left. I've got four LEDs and these are connected um, to the outputs of the comparator so as I turn the wheels here you can see that the LEDs will come on and off to show that the I'm getting a 1 and a 0 output from the sensor there and that's coming into the Arduino as an interrupt. At this stage of the build I'm interested in whether I can reliably measure a loss of traction, um, what the extent of the loss of traction is and whether I even have a traction problem in the first place. In order to do that I'm comparing the speed of the four wheels and I'm using this as a visual indicator of the traction state at any given point in time. If there's a, um, if one wheel is more than 12% faster than another wheel, one of the lights will come on. If one of the wheels is 25% faster than the slowest wheel, two of the lights will come on. If one of the wheels is 50% faster than the slowest wheel, meaning I've lost considerable traction, then all three lights will come on. So let's have a look at the system in action. So the car's up and running. You can see my indicator LEDs flashing here, showing that I'm getting a, a good digital signal out from the wheel sensors. Um, and what I can do is just use my finger to simulate a loss of traction. And you can see there as I dab my finger on, so the alarm goes off, just dabbing it lightly. Now I want to apply more and more. And you can see it progressively comes on and traction's recovered. Traction last. You see I've actually stopped the wheel there. Traction recovered. So this will allow me to see as the car's going around a track what the traction situation is. It'll also, when I leave the monitor in place and I actually test out various different control algorithms, it will allow me to see at a distance how effective the control algorithms are before I get back and actually analyse the data. Um, so that's the, the, the video to accompany the update. The full update, as well as the code and some descriptions of the circuit, are available on the RC Arduino blog. So that's rcarduino, all one word, dot blogspot.com. Thank you very much.